Let's look now at an example where we have three variables and also three equations used to solve these three variables. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is try and eliminate the variables by subtracting equations from each other. And the easiest way to do so is to find coefficients that are the same for a certain variable. So we see x, there's no coefficients that's the same, but here we see we have 2y, 2y. That means if I'm going to take equation 1 and subtract from equation 1, equation 2, I will get a single equation and get rid of the y uh, variable. So 3x minus 4x gives me negative x. 2y's minus these positive 2y's will give me 0. And then z minus 2z means I'll be negative z. 2 minus 8 gives me negative 6. Let's see, um, the z's, the z's here I see here's a z and there is a z. That means if I take equation 1 minus equation 3, 3x minus x gives me 2x, 2y minus a negative y, that means we're now adding that y. So 2y plus y is now 3y. And z minus z is 0. And 2 minus 4 gives me negative 2. Okay, and now you can see we've used all of our equations. Equations 1, 2, and 3 is used. So we can now, for the last equation, either write down any one of them or just do another one. Now, um, I'm going to try and get rid of another one of the variables. And why not that z? Okay, I have that z. Here I've got two z, uh, one z. So if I multiply this whole equation with a 2, 2, 2, 2, and that one with a 2 as well, I can get rid of another one of the z's. Okay, so if I take equation 2 and I subtract 2 times equation 3, okay, then I'll get this is 2 times equation 3. I get 4 minus 2x gives me 2x. Positive 2y minus minus, remember, becomes positive. 2 plus 2 gives me 4. 4y's and finally 2z minus 2z will just be 0 again. Okay, and 8 minus 8 is, sorry, not 0, 8 minus 8 is 0. Here we go. And now we've got three new equations. And uh, they're still equivalent to the first set, uh, but we can call this E1. This should be E1 now. That is E2 now. And this one is E3, third equation. Now, let's continue with the same thing. Here I see I can get rid of the x. And since I get rid of the x, I'm going to have a 0 in this position. But remember what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get this diagonally downwards. Uh, sorry, not 0 that diagonally downwards, um, come on, format. And uh, therefore, this one, I do want an x there. So I'm going to use this as my second equation. I'm going to take equation 2 minus equation 3. They subtract it from each other. And then 3y minus 4y gives me negative y. 0 minus 0 is 0 and negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. Okay, any others? No, unfortunately, uh, no others. So um, let's just write the others down. So instead of equation 1, let's take negative equation 1. Why? Well, I don't want these negatives in front um, of these variables. So if I multiply with a negative, everything is going to change sign. So that's going to be a positive. It's a zero, so it doesn't matter about the sign in front. That's going to be positive z, and that's going to be equal to 6. Okay, And this last one, which equation? Well, I can actually use any one. I'm going to use this last equation, equation 3. And if you look at equation 3, you'll notice that 2 can divide in here and in there. So just to make it a little bit simpler, I'm going to take half of equation 2. So I'm dividing everything 
with a 2 sorry not equation 2 equation 3 so that x becomes 2x becomes x 4y becomes 2y 0 stays 0 and 0 stays 0 here we go and now we've got three new equations equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 <coughs> Again, you can see we can get rid of some more equations. For example, here, uh, or more variables, sorry, here we can see there's a y, and we want to get rid of that y, and then we'll have x on its own. How can we get rid of that y? Well, in this equation, we only have y, which means if we use these two to get rid of the y's, we're only going to be left with the x. So in other words, if I take equation, 3 and since that is a negative it's already subtracting so I don't need to subtract so I can add equation 2 and I have two y's to get rid of so I must subtract equation 2 twice so x minus two zeros is still just x minus 0 so it's x positive oh sorry it's not minus it's adding positive 2y plus two negative y's will give me 0 0 plus 2 zeros will still just be 0 and 0 plus 2 negative 2's will give me negative 4 and now I've got x on its own I already have y on its own the only problem is there's a negative in front so we change signs by multiplying with a negative 1 so we get 0 positive y positive 0 is equal to positive 2 and finally all I need to do is get the z on its own problem is I can get rid of the x but if I use equation 1 and equation 3 to get rid of the x um, equation 3 will add an extra y so let's not do that for now let's just rewrite equation 3 as oh, sorry equation 1 now just make sure we have to have all of our equations in here we have equation 1 2 and 3 so that's fine I can replace equation 1 here plus 0 plus z I need an equation that still contains z and equation 1 is the only one that has that equal to 6 and now you can see it's actually quite easy to get rid of the z the x because my first equation has an x only an x so we won't mess with any of the others so if I take sorry if I take this is equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 we see equation 1 is x plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 4 equation 2 is also still fine 0 plus y plus 0 is equal to 2 and finally to get rid of that x I'm just going to take um, equation 3 and I'm going to subtract equation 1 so equation 3 minus equation 1 gives me x minus x will be 0 0 minus 0 will still be 0 and finally z minus 0 will just be z and 6 minus minus 4 will be plus 4 that leaves me with 10 so there I have my values I have that x y and z is equal to the numbers 4 sorry that's negative 4 4 2 and 10 let's just go and test it in our original equation so we have 3 times negative 4 plus 2 times what was that 6 plus 10 sorry is y 6 no sorry y is 2 2 times 2 okay so 3 times that's negative 12 plus 4 plus 10 should equal 2 let's see negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8 plus 10 is equal to 
2. Well done. You can go and check these others if you'd like just to confirm. But that is exactly how we would solve an equation with three unknowns and three variables. Good luck trying some on your own now.